Hi guys, welcome back to my plant video. So in today's video, I want to show you how I propagate my Hartley philodendron. Isn't she beautiful, guys? So yes, this philodendron, I actually featured this in one of my plant videos, which is called Top 5 Easy Care Plan, I think. And I hope you see that video. I, I will try to put a link there. Um, yeah, I love this plant so much. One, because it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't she stunning? It's so, 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 so beautiful. And two, um, it is so easy to care for. Three, it has heart-shaped leaf. So I'm a sucker for heart shape. So I just love heart shape and it's just so beautiful. Every heart, uh, every leaves are just heart shape. So that's just amazing. And four, it's so easy to propagate as well. So that's why I thought of water propagating my philodendron because it felt right because um, this plant has grown so much and it was trailing now it's again trailing again but yeah so that's why I thought of water propagating my philodendron so if you want to see how I do my propagation please keep on watching so there you can see a beautiful philodendron sitting pretty here in my cute giant teacup that I got from Bunnings so and my philodendron has grown really really long look at that it's grown so well and I'm so happy about that and I think it's time for me to propagate them so I want to show you how I'm going to do it so first of course you need a clean pair of scissors or saccatures or whatever you have just make sure it's clean so bacteria will not be transferred to your plant. Now just get start from the tip and as you can see here there's some aerial roots coming out so that is a good sign so that means this plant is really healthy and I will just cut above the node so here's your node here's your aerial root and then probably I'll just cut from here uh, I'd say one and a half inch and then just keep this put this aside first and then again find another aerial root so that's your node right there and then cut and then this part here you can get rid of that because you don't really need that so you just need this part here there so put that aside the next one again here's the root and then cut it right there see so you don't need that part just cut it now I got three and one more here there and sometimes you can see this part it's just the dried part from where the leaf came from so just get rid of that you don't need it so you have one more there and how many did I get one two three four so I have four at the moment there's one more there so it's a clean cut make sure your scissors are clean This root right here, it's a little bit dry 
I think. So I will still put this in the water and see if it grows. It's worth trying than throwing it in the bin. And I think I'll do one more on this side. I'll do one more on this side. Okay. Now let's do this too. This is another tip. Just cut that part. And the roots are really really healthy here. Again. This one is kind of brand new leaf, but it's okay because you need that root there. Okay, I think I'm going to do the last one. There you go. And now I will just put this in water. Here's my cut philodendron guys, so I put it in the water and just make sure the roots are touching the water so it will grow from there. And if there is some updates, I will let you know. Just a quick update guys, last time we cut our stem here at this end and also this one and now the tips are dried but yesterday, just yesterday, I noticed new growth coming out so I'm so happy and excited to see them growing. I did the right thing and you can see there it's not focusing but yeah there's a new growth there. Um, one more here uh, and here guys and another one here there's more actually there's heaps of new ones so I am so excited that my monstera is thriving really well so I guess because I cut the stem so it promoted new growth from from different parts of the stem so yeah i'm so excited isn't she pretty and these are the and these are the leaves that we cut last time you can see roots shooting out and it's still baby it's not yet really stable roots so I'll wait for them to grow more and then we will put them in soil together. Today is 22nd of November 2018 and our water propagation guys is a success. So I'm going to show you. That's our water propagation and roots have established quite well. So now is the time to give her a new home so I am actually promoting you to have a new home okay so first I will show you what it looks like I'll just put this out by the way guys I always change the water to a fresh water once a week or at least if you see the water becomes yucky but I don't wait for the water to become yucky before I change it I just change it once a week just don't forget that so it will have fresh water all the time so as you can see my water is still clear because I just changed it a few days ago probably two days ago so now here's my water propagation look at those roots they have established quite well now I need to check which roots are actually healthy this one is pretty good 
So I will try to make sure they're good. This one also got roots. Just one. But it's still good. That's a good sign. And this one as well. That one. This didn't grow any roots, so I'll just leave it. Pretty much all the stems I cut are good because they have established roots. So only one. But I can see a little tiny root shooting out soon. I'll still leave this in the water. I'll just use that later on. So now, let's put our beloved philodendron here. I just prepared a pot and a all-purpose potting mix. So guys, since I got 8 stems with roots, I decided to use 2 pots instead of just one because I just don't want to crowd them in one pot. In one, in one pot. So, just try to arrange your philodendron just the way you like it. I would like my philodendron to look like this. So, try to hold it tight but not really tight. Just hold it like that. And then, let's get dirty. Don't be afraid to get dirty guys. So. As you can see, I don't wear gloves because I like to use my bare fingers, my, my bare hands when I do this. Because I want to be able to feel the roots and I don't want to break roots because of course they're really delicate. So you want to be really, really careful when handling. So just bur bury the roots just like so and tap it gently. Make sure it is buried properly. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm making a mess. But don't worry. I will clean this up guys, don't worry. So, yes. Try to tap it gently. There. So that's our first pot looking really really good guys so that's our first one and I don't normally fill the soil up to the rim because whenever I water soil will just overflow so I don't like that so just enough is okay you don't have to fill it up and now let's move on to our next pot which is this one and oh my god my fingers are so dirty now so I still have four more okay let's arrange just arrange it the way you like it and that looks good to me make sure don't bury the leaf because it might be it might get rotten I'm doing this the hard way <laughs> just for the sake of video but I am so enjoying this guys do you how do you feel when you propagate or do you plant do you feel happy I really really feel happy doing this and especially if you see your plants growing under your care oh my god that was that that is really something it's like an accomplishment yes oh my god it looks so beautiful guys okay wow oh my god look what I did it's so beautiful am I so good or what <laughs> Isn't 
Isn't she lovely? Okay. Looks good. Looking really good. Okay. I'm so noisy. So, there you have it, guys. I got two pots. I didn't expect I would have two pots instead of one. But yes, it's so beautiful. And after doing this, I believe in a week's time or month's time, we will have new plants. Yes. So happy. So that's it, guys. That's how I propagate my philodendron. And thank you so much for watching this. I hope I gave you some tips on how I water propagate my philodendron. And if you do have hardly philodendron like me or any other philodendron or even potos, you do the same thing like I did. Just water propagate and almost 100% sure roots will grow. So good luck on your water propagation as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, I also do vlogging videos. So if you don't really like my vlogging, um, I did create a plant playlist. So if you only want to watch plant videos, just go to my plant playlist. So yeah, you don't have to watch my vlogging. But anyway, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Just click on the red button here and click on the bell icon as well. So you will get notified if I upload new videos. So yeah, that's it guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!